Hello guys, welcome back to Hegarin with Sinate. So in this series, we are going to build the Laravel invoice management system from scratch step by step. So if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the bell notification for more upcoming videos and projects from this channel step by step. And another thing that I would, I would like to tell you is the project source code will be in my uh, website whereby you can able to have the source code and get it into your computer. Okay, so let's dive to the project, how we can able to create the project from scratch step by step. So what I'm going to do is I will open the terminal from here in my desktop here. And I will create the project and you, you guys can follow along with me or if you can able to do this you can skip this part and go to the next part so firstly what are we gonna do is I will install the, the project the framework called Laravel so let's write Laravel new and along with the, the, the name of the project so I will name my project as Laravel invoice management system youtube and hit enter and this will create our project for us and if you can see here i will have a new a new folder here okay very soon so it's getting off you see our folder is coming here so this uh, installation will take uh time based on the connection that you are using so i will pause and come back to the uh when the installation is completed so that we can able to Here's our project that we created already. So I will open a new terminal inside this project here. And here I will install the uh, Laravel UI package here. So let's uh, require it to say co composer require, okay, Laravel UI like this and hit enter. And the, this will install the Laravel UI for us so that we can able to make our authentication from here so let's wait while this thing install and it's almost done and it's already installed already so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our authentication so we're gonna say php at the same ui okay so i will use bootstrap okay so we can say bootstrap bootstrap then we say does without and hit enter and this will create our 
authentication already so now our scaffolding is done so what we're gonna do is let's run with npm npm run let's install npm first you can say npm install after installing the npm install then we can run the NP npm run div okay so let's wait to see when this uh, this thing is completed we can run npm run div So here is done now. So now let's run npm run div to, 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 to compile the asset, right? So run this. Okay. So now our our, our project is now now ready to run in the server. So what we're gonna do now? Let's type this command php artisan serve and see our project in the browser. So I will open the project in the browser. One two seven. Hit enter, and you see here we have our project here now running at port eighty, and we have our login, and we have our registration as well, right? So our, our this part is done. So now let's open our our project inside our VS Code. So I will open the project inside my VS Code here. I will type code dot and open the project here. And I create. I will come here and create a new file for my database. So I will come to dot env here and I copy this. Okay, and I come to inside this php my admin here and i will create a new database and i give name as that thing i copy from my .env and i hit create so it's already created now here with no table so let's go back to the uh, the product here .env here inside here what i will do here i will create the i will now create the migration and the models along with the routes right so the command that we need to type here is php artisan make model okay and the model name will be customer does all and this will create everything for us okay so after that i will create the, the invoice the invoice model as well so now come here and say invoice that's all and it's already created the invoice for us okay so and the the next one it, it will be the invoice detail so we can say invoice detail with all then it will create the invoice detail for us again and the last one will be the, the now the the next one will be the, the products so we can do like this which we have to make product and hit this and it's, it's install it will create the product uh, thing for us so if you come inside the app here and inside this folder we have the customer model the invoice model the invoice, invoice detail model and the product model and we have the users model as well so inside this http we have a new folder called request and this request come with a new feature okay so we can able to to use our form request as well here okay so and inside inside the controllers also we have all our controllers our customer controller our invoice controller our invoice detail controller our products controller so and now the the next one that we're going to create here is we let's hit the arrow up and now the next one will be the settings okay the settings model okay so that we created this one here now and now everything is done that we need only this five key 
things in our database models and okay so now i will hide this one and i will hide this one also i will go to the route here here is the route so we have all the sub let me import this i have imported this on top here so now what we're gonna do is okay let's create our routes here so first of all that i'm gonna do i will make a route group for this so we can say routes group not much but we see middleware okay group so i will cut this and i place this thing inside this here okay so now underneath this we need to have a resource okay resource controller okay which will be the this one for now and it's okay so and the next one also we're gonna have uh okay resource controller for the customers okay and the the control will be customers controller and it will be imported here and you see we have imported the customer controller here and the users control also i need to import it i imported the user controller as well it's not okay so so user controller is not available so let's create that one here so we can say php let's say make controller user controller as a resource okay hit this and it's created already for us and if you come to this uh http inside controllers and we see we have this user controller here okay with the resources that we created okay so i go back to the web the php here and i will now import the this this control user control here already it's already imported now so on the next one let's copy and paste and change this this will be invoices and this controller will be invoice controller okay we have this one and the next one will be the products so the products controller as well the route will be products and the, the, the controller will be the products controller product controller which is this and we have imported it on top here okay so we have all our four controllers and all our four resource routes okay so now what we're gonna do is the next one here hence i will use the uh excel package and other stuff to export our stuff so i will come on top here and i will say route okay get so this get will be export users so and here we can pass here a uh, user controller class and here will be export okay and i love to use uh, route means so you can say user dot export like this okay save and i copy this four times and the next one will be customers export so we're gonna say customer customer controller and export and here will be for customers export like so okay save this like this and remove this one and the next one here what we need to do is the products here so copy this paste it here and the controller name is these products and copy it here and the the route name is this okay so i need only three because the invoice i will not use the excel to export that one okay so we have this thing so what i will do here now is okay so let's even install doom 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 and excel package so you can say laravel xl package xl not validation so this not this one 
yeah is is this one so let's come start here and hit this and to install it re, let's run this command inside our our terminal inside our project so i will open my project here let's clean this for now and i will paste the co command that i copied from there and i will hit enter it will require the project for us here okay so it will take a little bit time based on you based, based on the connection that you are using so after that what we need to do is let's try to run this if you but this thing is optional okay but i will not use it for now so i will just i will ignore it for for now okay i will just install it okay so after that after that installation now the next one which it will be the dom pdf for laravel so this one is inside here so we can grab this one also here and install it and the installation is quite simple like other packages so we need to grab a copy this from here and come here and wait for this thing to complete so that we can able to install the doom pdf as well so let's wait for this thing to complete and install the doom pdf from there okay done already and it's already there so let's install the doom pdf as well so i copy this uh, the command from here and i open the terminal inside my project and i will i paste it here and, and it's installing already so now we have installed both packages right the excel package and the doom pdf package so now we can able to do uh, we can able to close these things from here and close all these things now the next step is the controllers so let's open the first let's open the user controller here and what I will do, I will clean up this because I don't like to use these things, these comments here. So I clean up these comments here so that we can able to uh, have space, more room to uh, make our things easier. Okay. So here is the thing that we need to do. Okay. So here will be the index, right? So we can return something here. Okay. So we can say return the view. Okay. Okay. Let's return this view from here. And now what I will do, let's create uh, some view files inside the uh, resources, inside the views. So I will create a folder inside here. Okay. So the first folder will be the admin, admin folder. And inside the admin folder, I will have some files there. So the first file will be the index .php, and the second file will be the uh, the table table content .php, and the third file will be the, the table table .php. Oh, what am I doing? delete this one and let's create a table table dot blade dot php and the next one is the model so we're gonna use model also so we we'll say model dot blade dot php okay so we have uh, all these things here and the the next one is it will be the edit dot blade dot php okay that's what we have here right we have uh, index edit model and this okay so we have this five files inside this uh the, the admin folder here and i will open this again I, I copy i will i copy these files from here just click here and copy it from here and create another folder called customers Okay, inside this customers, let's paste that, that files that we, we copied from the admin. Okay, so this, this, this thing need to be out from the, okay, the admin side. So, and the next folder here will be the products. Okay, the products folder. And the products folder also will have the same uh, files. Okay, and we pass this one here and the 
the last one is the invoices so let's create a no let's come here in the view here create folder called invoices okay so inside the invoices also we're gonna pass this the same uh fields here for now then after i will do some adjustment in the invoices here okay but for now let's uh check on the the admin side okay so let's go back here and now let's return the view of the index okay so you can return view and where admin index okay so here now we, i have returned this admin index here so note i will use ajax as well here for maybe to make the uh, the page smooth to uh, fit the data so we can use here if if request is ajax so here we can install the request request so if request if request is ajax okay then we can pass other stuff here else we can do other things we can return response json okay and and here we'll have something like okay success or we can just even pass the view for that here so we can say uh mm, yeah just say uh users okay the view will be this and inside here we can pass this table content and inside here we can pass here a compact method to the main thing then we're gonna say uh users and here will be the render section okay render okay like this and we close a semicolon here so here is done so this will be maybe we can say view it's okay for that okay like this let me close the sidebar so that you guys can see the full the full image of this thing here is the ajax section when when we have ajax ajax call this part will will be execute when we have the form request call this part will be execute okay so now here also we can do something like this users like this and inside here what we need to do is let's uh, pass a, a constructor here maybe we can see, we can pass a constructor here public function here is the constructor and inside this constructor here what we need to do is to pass the user object here okay so here i will use the object of the user so we can say user is this users right so here we can say this users okay equals to the okay this users that we have here okay so now i can able to access this inside here so I will do like this. I will be so we, we, we just can say like users and we say this users this users we can say get okay we get everything except the no let's get all it's okay get all so here is the, the thing that we have in we have for that one now okay and now inside this crate also i will not use this crate for now because i i, I will use this crate just remove this here and the store will be used the edit also will be used and the show for the user will not be used also okay the update will not be used okay so we have only these four methods here okay the delete the also gonna be used okay so now here inside the uh the store section have i deleted the store okay so we can pass here function public function store 
and request request should be request also and yeah So we have the password here and the password will be using the make here and we're gonna send this one here to make the password for us and now we are done with this section here now we can return we can use uh, return okay response because I will use I will use this thing as an Ajax so JSON so inside JSON we can say success and the success also we need to have uh, the you can say user created successfully okay like this and we have this thing here okay now this part is all is also done okay this part is also done so now what I will do is I will just uh, okay. Let's 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 make the create the edit as well. So what we need to do is the edit. Also, we need to pass this thing like this. You can say uh, just bring the object of this inside this route model binding. So I will grab this thing instead of the ID. Okay, I will use the route the route model binding here. Okay. So I can I will just do like this. We can say uh, return view. So this view will be admin edit. Okay, this section here, and we can use the compact method to compact this user like this, and it's done. Here is done, and the delete also here. We can do we can do the same thing. So just grab this thing from here and remove this bring this thing here and we just need to delete this like this and come here say we need to say user user delete like this and user deleted successfully <coughs> user deleted successfully okay <clears throat> and but here in the delay section here i will do something else here okay so i will check uh, i will check the uh, the stuff so we can say hash check as check the value okay you can say uh, request uh, 
request password and the hash value is the user can just say hot user like this hot user password okay so if this thing is match then let's do this else we need to send something back to the user if if this thing is match so the request need to be passed here copy this and come to the delete here do this okay so we pass this thing if if not match here then let's return this thing okay let's return let's return this you see not not much not much so you say password password not much okay please try again please enter a, a valid password like so okay so here is done for now and this everything in this model here is done right now so i will do the same things in the inside the customer's stuff okay but for now let's stop here for the next video we can able to continue from there okay see you in the next video thank you so much